Democrats are looking for answers after not only losing the White House, but failing to take back either chamber of Congress. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi could soon find herself on the hot seat. Doug McElway's live on the Hill Capitol building there where it's going to be busy today. Start with Democrats. They won back a few House seats, but apparently not what they had expected. That's right, Bill. They had hoped to reclaim about 20 House seats on election night. That would not have put them in the majority, but it would have put them a lot closer to reaching the majority. As it turns out, they only picked up six House seats, that despite the expenditure of millions of dollars on House races. Now, Democrats had forecast that a bad night for them would have been a pickup of 12 or fewer seats, so it, w it, was, it was a bad, bad night indeed. Now, it is, it is still way too early to write the political obituary of the Democrats. Party or the political obituary of House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, who is known pretty much as a human ATM machine around here for her ability to raise money. And there is an additional factor at work here. Many Democrats see Donald Trump as tabula rasa, a clean slate. They remember that he has spent most of his adult life as a Democrat, so they see possibilities of working with him. Even the far left progressive Bernie Sanders wrote yesterday, and I'm quoting here. To the degree that Mr. Trump is serious about pursuing policies that improve the lives of working families in this country, I and other progressives are prepared to work with him. Trump on election night and many, many times previous to that has also talked about the need for a huge uh, investment in infrastructure. He has common ground with Democrats on that front and, and common ground with President Obama on that front. Nancy Pelosi writing in USA Today, quote, we can work together quickly uh, to quickly pass a robust infrastructure jobs bill. Now, the devil may be in the details. Uh, Donald Trump has said that one of the most shovel-ready jobs in America right now is to build the wall. I suspect that Democrats do not agree with him on that front, Bill. Thank you, Doug. Uh